Now off the top of my head, roughly 50 trillion hours of video is uploaded to the internet every single day. And with the rise of services like TikTok, it seems we really can't get enough of pointless clips of annoyingly fresh-faced young plebs dancing about the place like someone just bunged a cactus right up their poop chute. Now if you want to get involved as well and shoot great looking video wherever you roam to share with random strangers online, then you'll definitely need a smartphone with a seriously good camera. And the great news is there's a strong selection of mobiles out there that are great for home movies, with bonus features to raise your uploads to the very next level. So here's my personal pick of the very best phones for video recording as we hit 2020. If you want to see full camera reviews of any of them, I've done them right here on Techspert as well as full reviews of the actual phones themselves as well. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now first up, while Samsung's recent flagships aren't the absolute best all around for shooting photos, they really do excel on the video front, and the S10 and the S10 Plus are definitely two of my favourites. You can shoot up to 4K resolution footage at 30 frames per second, or even boost right up to 60 FPS at that Ultra HD level for hyper-realistic results. Meanwhile, the audio capture is just as strong as those crisp, colourful visuals, and you can also capture HDR footage with full support for HDR10+. And if you upgrade to the Galaxy S10 5G or any of the recent Note models, then you'll also have the option of adding live bokeh to your videos, which works rather impressively well, albeit with a slightly fuzzy silhouette. And Samsung was one of the first to add a super steady mode to its video capture as well, allowing you to capture really smooth looking clips even when you're travelling at speed. That said, the video stabilisation is perfectly fine just with standard video shot here on the likes of the Galaxy S10 Plus. So you don't even need that super steady mode unless you're one of those outdoor fitness types doing a bit of cycling or parkour or whatever else. And if you swap around to that front facing selfie cam then you can shoot up to 4K resolution video once again. So vloggers are very well catered for. And for a while now, Apple has also been one of the better manufacturers when it comes to shooting video on your smartphone, and the iPhone 11 family is just as strong as ever. Like those premium Samsung blowers, you can once again shoot up to 4K resolution video at 30 or 60 frames per second. The video results at 4K level are solid. You get a detail-rich picture quality with respectable colour capture, plus image stabilisation when shooting Ultra HD video on the move is more or less on par with the Full HD resolution. There is a bit of shimmer with every step, but nothing too troublesome. On the audio front, no worries either. The iPhone 11 actually prioritises sound coming from wherever the lens is directly pointing. It picks up that sound cleanly, although the effect is rather dampened in a noisy environment, as you might expect. But thankfully, any commentary you're providing from behind the lens is also cleanly picked up. The main difference on the video front between the iPhone 11 and older models of iPhone is that now you have an ultra-wide angle lens as well, which can capture a very different view for your home movies, just like for your snaps. And yet, you can switch between the two at any time just by tapping an on-screen icon. Now, Sony Mobile really went balls to the wall when it came to the video side of things for the Xperia 1 and Xperia 5 phones. In the standard video mode, these Sony Tallboys are nothing particularly special, sadly. You can shoot crisp 4K footage, but not at 60fps, while the stabilisation and HDR chops aren't as strong as the Samsung and Apple alternatives here, though we do still really like that super slow motion mode. However, if you want to add a nice bit of cinematic flair to your home movies, then the Xperia 1 and the Xperia 5 certainly deliver on that front using the Cinema Pro app. This is essentially a super pumped manual mode expressly for your video needs. You can piddle about with a handful of professional filters that really change the mood of your footage, while also tweaking the likes of the white balance. And in a recent update, Sony added a manual focus feature for cleanly cutting between two focal points. All great to get some artistic and very unique looking videos. Now if your stacks aren't quite fat enough to afford these super premium mobiles, then fear ye not. There are plenty of good mid-range mobiles that can also shoot great looking video footage such as the OnePlus 7T. This blower costs just over 500 quid, so it's a lot more affordable than those previously mentioned options, and you can still shoot great looking 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, just like those big boys. That stabilisation is great, even at Ultra HD level, while audio pickup is fine, and things only really start to falter once you begin to shoot video at night, which is pretty standard for a smartphone anyway. And if you're after a mid-range mobile for a spot of vlogging, then definitely check out the Isuzu Zenfone 6. This all-round impressive handset has a flippy-out camera that can shoot in basically any direction going, so it's one of the only handsets around that offers 4K 60 frames per second video in selfie mode. And the results are pretty bloody impressive too. You can even flip reverse that camera while you're filming. And considering the Zenfone 6 costs just 500 quid, and you can probably find it cheaper than that with a decent deal, that is some seriously good tech. And if your budget happens to be tighter than a Nat's bum hole, then again, do not worry. Plenty of great budget smartphones around the sort of £200 mark can still shoot 4K resolution video with some pretty decent results. Take for instance the Motorola One Action, which serves up sharp and colourful video at that Ultra HD setting. 
And this cheapy mobile's party trick is the ability to shoot standard Full HD landscape video while you hold the phone in portrait mode, with seriously strong image stabilisation thrown in, just like that super study mode on the extremely more expensive Galaxy S10. And there you have it, just a few of my personal favourite smartphones for recording video as we hit 2020 across a range of budgets. But what's your own personal picks for the best video recorded smartphones? Definitely be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notification bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. I'm starting to run out of breath now. Have a good week people. Love you. Bye.